Hello everyone, welcome back to this uh, lovely channel that you found uh, randomly on the internet. Welcome to Coffee Talk, episode uh, 2, Hibiscus Blue Pea. Today is likely to be the last day. Let's see what they had to reserve for us. Ah, did I miss the thunder in this one? I check my Tomoda chill. I mean, someone can connect with it, especially within the same history, it would be cool. Any kind of dates, and it is easier for the love and keep it having fun and instead of keep moving forward. Ah, not too shabby. G. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's not a real video! Somehow this feels like deja vu. I guess it is deja vu. Anyway. Hello, Yoyi! Welcome, Officer Yoyi! What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. Ah, uh, you know, it's very hot. Uh, yeah, deja vu. What? Nothing, everything is fine. I have everything I need to avoid another blackout. That's good news. <laughs> you know, this weather was kind of a groan on me. Really? Yeah. Not something I'd like to have uh, forever, of course. But the thunders no longer sound so angry to me. Interesting. What does it sound like to you? Mm, no idea. <laughs> Just not scary anymore. Anyway, I wanna order something. Perfect. So what would you like? Maybe whatever I ordered a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, huh? Was I like espresso or something? Yeah, give or take. You were promoting a new tea selection at the time. Good times. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Remember it had an uh, interesting color. I'll take whatever you gave me that day. I think it was the blue pea one. A couple anti sinanins for you, officer. Um, anto sinanins? Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> what makes the drink blue? Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that thing. Whatever. Still tastes like grass. But my daughter told me this is really good for stress. Really? Are you stressed right now? Are you? Nah, don't worry about it. Since my daughter loves it so much, I was just trying to remind myself how it tastes. Oh, good. Well, usually blue peas mix with a bunch of other ingredients. It's a very forgiving drink, taste-wise, and goes well with most things. And it looks pretty. Yeah, I can see that. Because it tastes less ex- there. Because <laughs> it's tasteless except for grassy- grassy. Except for grassy notes when you drink it straight. Right on. As it means you already made up with your daughter. That was going on outside. More or less. That's great. How are you, officer? How's work? Work? Huh. Well, it's only been a couple of days since I was here, but I admit a lot has happened. Oh! Patience, pal? We don't have all the players here to complete the story yet. Oh, is someone else coming? Two more! Alrighty then. Um, but what do you mean, complete the story? Well, like I said, there's been a lot going on, uh, and I cannot recount the whole thing alone. I see. But you know, Andrea. I know. For a while, this old man felt like he'd been living in a stagnant pool. When he thought he started out on a flowing stream, it didn't take long for him to find out it wasn't a stream or even a pool. It was more like a mud puddle. That was uh, constantly being filled up with dirt, year after year. And, uh, well, no matter how much he tried to keep it clean, the puddle will always dry out before any of his attempts bear fruit every single time. He'd end up stuck on the bottom with only occasional rainwater, keeping his existence going. Right. However, after about a heavy rain, he discovered a small crack of hope. A thin line leading to another flowing water in the original direction he wanted. Know what I'm saying? I think so. Why? Hey, Luke. Lucas is in the house. Yo! Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? And you, Pops. What? <laughs> you go. Wait, what? <laughs> All good. You're in high spirits, aren't you? Always. Anyways, Pops, what's shaking? I thought. There. I think I should be the one asking you that. What's with all the excess energy? You're right, I probably should have explained, but first. Dandrea? May I put it in Dota? Uh, you may. <laughs> uh, like a blue pea latte with super cool latte out on top. Uh, 
Which would be a long time. Damn, this is blue as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is perfect. <laughs> this art uh, is perfect. <laughs> serve! A cup of blue latte with a masterpiece of it on it for you, sir. A masterpiece? <laughs> I like your confidence. I am confident. <laughs> anyway, cheers! <laughs> Nice, thanks, Andrea. So, what's up, kid? Hi, oh, all's well, pops. I'm waiting for the lady to arrive. Oh, so Miss Riona is coming to her? Yeah, she should be here soon. The last couple of days have been really intense for us. In fact, I didn't sleep at all, did. In fact, I didn't sleep at all until last night. <laughs> oh, why? I just say we've been busy cooking up stuff. What? What is it? I know you're a hostel, kid. Your schedule is probably not like everyone else, but I hope you won't drag others into unhealthy habits unnecessarily. Although I know next to nothing about uh, Banshee biology, doesn't she do late night deliveries? Oh, sometimes she does uh, deliveries until morning. Then never mind, kid, forget everything I said earlier. <laughs> do whatever the fuck you want. Phew, I was like, oh man, what a stupid thing I did this time. Nah, I was just pulling your leg. You're both adults, I was just playing around us. As the nosy and annoying old guy. Still, it is good that you guys are talking. Especially considering what happened the first time you two met. Ah, yeah, no kidding. <coughs> That's what I mean by me doing stupid things, too. Sometimes I don't slow down enough to see the forest with the trees, you know? It happens. As long as you are aware of it and take a step back from time to time. Yep. So, were you upstanding because of the new podcast you posted? Oh, yes. Have you watched it? What podcast? The link is on my tea seal, pups. There was a podcast? You already seen it too? Oh man, I'm stopped. I thought it was like ghost hunt or something. With how dark everything was likewise. So it was too dark, huh? I'll keep that in mind. I mean that you called the ghost hunting segment wash wash yeah. Was shot is kinda of spontaneously. But what you think about the whole thing, Pops? You turn real, tell me. I saw the post, but I haven't had the time to watch it yet. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Uh, it's more like I couldn't uh, look at it, but it is what it is. Oh, well, don't be sorry. But uh, go watch it when you have time, alrighty? Will do. Well, since I thought it was a ghost son, I didn't know, you know? What? I didn't... Wait, what? Well, since I thought it was a ghost son, I didn't... Didn't you know? I didn't watch it all the way to the end. Oh, okay, that's uh, that's fair, understandable. My daughter enjoyed watching the whole thing, though. That's so great, you know. She told me Rachel was there too. What gives? Rachel? Yeah, she was our first guest. Oh, so do you film the episode right after you three talk about it the other day? Exactly, that's why it was spontaneously done. But the whole thing is not all about ghost hunting pops. That was just the clickbait. The actual story is, uh, I know, my daughter summarized it for me. You brought up the street. And the tree too, didn't you? Exactly, because it was part of our plan all along. <laughs> what? Hmm? Do you replant the tree? How do you got the tree? The actual question would have been. Welcome, Miss Riona. Hello. A lot of noise. Hey, Dee, finally, you are here. Good evening, Miss. Hi, everyone. Was the traffic bad for you? No, not at all. I had to deliver everything before I came. That's why I'm a bit late. I apologize. Nah, you're not late. I'm just early. I'm sorry, there's so many noise outside. I think it's someone that birthday party. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, please. I'd like a cup of mild coffee, sweetened with a lot of honey and food. Honey coffee! There we go. That's what I used to order back in the day. So, what's really been happening with you too? The kid stayed up for days for something, apparently. Does that include you as well? Yes, but uh, those are just my regular working hours. See? See? And uh, I thought we were done talking about that, Pops. What the heck? I'm not done playing with the role of annoying and nosy old guy, that's all. Jeez. Oh, by the way, thank you for telling me about the pea, sh pea shop. <laughs> the pie shop. The pea shop. <laughs> Miss. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Somehow I didn't know it existed. Are you talking about Disco Pie? Yeah, the place closes up at midnight. Follows the schedule of the pub at the entrance to it. Now my daughter is actually very smart. I wouldn't lie about it, it's quite smart. Because if you think most people that drink alcohol get hen very hungry, I quite strongly believe. And if they get something sweet and like a pie, warm, I think, I think it's good for business. Especially the people that like, you know. Like a there was like a salt and pepper, like a some sort of like yeah, salt and pepper. And like a small restaurants, like uh, pizzerias, you know, making food. Very close to disco and they are open very late. Because they know that people that come out order fucked up stuff. Like uh, there's so many people. Me and my boys, <laughs> me and my boys actually order like a full fucking pizza after <laughs> we went we outside the disco. <laughs> and like so was like okay. Oh, so much shit. <laughs> no, my daughter can get pie even when I'm home late. I see, that's good. That's why I'm not trying to point your regulars in the direction of your rival, Andrea. It's fine, it's fine. It's not like I sell, sell pie. What rival? Maybe I should start selling food here. Hmm. Did I miss something? I'm wondering too. Well, as you probably know, especially if you follow my tea seal, we started a blog slash podcast tonight. Uh, thing tonight thing <laughs> right my daughter watched the first episode yesterday did she like it she love it i heard her laughing all the way i'm glad so what is the blog slash podcast thing really yeah please clarify i saw you had this uh, walk around sensation session in the episode i thought podcasts are supposed to be voice only like a radio show but you don't need to catch it live well nowadays there are a lot of podcasts with videos Voice is still the most important part though, we did have to carpool podcast late in that episode. So usually there'll be two versions of the same episode, the voice only one on audio, streaming platforms, and the full video person on video streaming platforms. Ah, I see. Sounds difficult to create both at the same time. It must require a lot of planning, doesn't it? It does. If you are not uh, Lucas, that is. <laughs> Thanks to my editing and interviewing skills, you can enjoy the action session in the voice-only version all the same. I see. It wouldn't be possible to make the episode as compelling though. Yes, without Lady Riona giving us a good information to make the episode work. It's like Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, pull it up! <laughs> Riona, pull it up! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> Some our voice really resonate well in the mic. So it was a joy to edit it into the narration. <laughs> Also, Rachel was probably the best first guest we could ever get. We even got a sneak preview of her new singles. Our first episode got tons of views because of that. Really? That's great. But I wonder if that was clear by her manager. Probably not, but she knows what she was doing, so I'm sure. I mean, it's free pub. <laughs> I mean, it's free publicity, so what the heck you want? What the heck you want more than that? I can see why you two stayed up for days now. I mean, uh, most people like... Yeah, like, uh, most people do that, right? The public is like, uh, you know, like uh, uh, Tony John Downey Jr. went for uh, to Joe Rogan podcast to uh, to add, add his movie. <laughs> and, uh, was it Iron Man? Was it real Iron Man too? And even uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey with his book, right? I mean, he was he was everywhere. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. It's not doing the wrong wrong thing. I mean, that's what you do. <laughs> Sounds great, y'all. So, Miss. Yes? Are you enjoying your new role as a show co-host? Well, it's interesting so far, but I'm learning a lot new skills. So I'm eager to keep working on it, all the while I keep looking for auditions and honing my craft. That's all I need to know. Uh huh. So what else the episode? Go watch it. Just kidding, it's okay, you can watch it whenever. I will, later after work. So Mr. Lucas, you say this is part of your plan. And officer, you say you need the old players to be here to form a complete story. What's with all that? Pops, if you please. Alright, alright, I'll start. Andrea, do you remember what we talked about a couple of days ago? Which part? I ask you and Gala which you preferred, wild rumors or bad press? You did answer? Oh yes, I remember now. You say something about uh, combining them, I think? Yep, and that's where I and Lady Riona came in. Oh? Also was telling me about his meetup with the uh, grieving vandals, so I know the whole story. 
and I get uh, what they were going for. It's not that they want their friend to be remembered in a bad way. Yeah, they just want them to be remembered, period. So from talking with Pulse, I had an idea. An idea to turn their action into a neighborhood legend. Urban legend? Hmm, fascinating. With their... With their and the victim's family permission, of course? The victim's family? When Telfius asked me if I knew them, I was able to track them down. You did? That's hopefully very good job. I mean, very... You're probably in the wrong business, Riona. You should uh, probably be a detective. A consultant, what do they say? You did? That's great. How? How? Um, we operate on a similar wavelength, wavelength, which is the easiest way to explain it. <laughs> I sense them. <laughs> I sense them with my brain. <laughs> It took a while, but I managed to reach them. I see. That totally makes sense. No, it doesn't. Since my Banshee have wavelengths, we are other creature. Other woodlands creature. So you're trying to turn their act to vandalism into an urban legend? Exactly. Urban legend usually starts with uh, her saying, created from half truth, half exaggeration, from each speaker to the next listener. Like a game of tag, sometimes they can even be all lies. But most of them often serve as a cautionary tale. Yep. But the best thing about this one is real. It really didn't take much for me to tweak into the whole new story. Who did? Who, why did it need tweaking? To make it less clear, of course. Because you want everyone to get curious. If you explain everything all at once, there is no mystery for others to dig into. Once they are hooked on the premise, folks will try finding things out of their own. And in this case, because of the tree, already has an for long history. Those who dig for more information will surely fall down the rabbit hole. Other content creators who are into this stuff will lap it up, and they tend to be big. Then the rest is history. Their friend's memory will have a life on its own. Oh, I see what you mean. Did you have the story in a yesterday episode? Part of it. We're planning to discuss it further in a couple of episodes, because you need to give the impression time to propagate, you know? Well, honestly, it was probably good enough, because my daughter couldn't stop asking me more about it. She knows the story was based on my case, and she's been telling her friends at school about the video, but without letting them know it was my case, of course. <laughs> that would be bad, very bad. Sounds very promising, though. You're telling me? That's great. Send our thanks to your daughter, Pops. I mean, yeah, it's great feedback, mate. <laughs> what? Well, this is all very different, but somewhat exciting experience. How do you not know this will all work out as intended? We don't. Yeah, nobody knows. It's not that easy to influence that many hands, you know? Mm huh, but you were so confident. Because, um... We'll never know the outcome of anything. Unless we try. That's true. Well, congrats on taking a step into a new direction, kiddos. Who knows, maybe someday you'll soon join in on that. You wanna become an influencer too, Pops? Ha, <laughs> could you imagine? No, I meant taking a step into a new direction. How about Yogi Williams, private investigator? <laughs> wait, wait, you wanna... <laughs> you wanna Sherlock Holmes? You wanna, like, a Go Conan Doyle kind of deal? <laughs> Whoa, really? For real? Nah, I'm kidding. Oh, wow. Or am I? I sure hope you're kidding. Who really knows at this point? I mean, uh, I think it fits you well. Thanks for the vote of confidence, miss. I might have to leave soon. Huh, why? I haven't eaten anything substantial since this morning. It was a, a, it was a really busy day. Oh, word. <laughs> word! Let's go then. Ah, uh, you can stay. I'll just go for a quick bite and come back. Now let's just go. We're partners, right? Besides, we still have a lot of things to discuss. Ah, uh, you're right. Okay, if you are fine with it. But, before we go, I want to give a final test to Andrea. Uh, more, more, more beverage? Ah, uh, a test? <laughs> so annoyed. Ah, uh, yes! Uh -huh. To be honest, I'm very impressed with your coffee shop. It's one of the best I've ever been in. I know, right? And I see your regulars are loyal as well. So I want to send you a luxurious Lucas approved 5 star plaque. Oh my, so that's real. Wow. Oh, ah. Okay, wow. What's that? Nothing? 
Doesn't mean this coffee shop will be part of the Hoppers gang now. Only if you pass these one test. Make me a custom order based precisely on my preferences. Can you tell me a bit more? After all, the relationship between the shop and his pattern is based on deep familiarity. No, it's not. So I just want you to make a drink based on what you know about me. I cannot really drink coffee anymore, but I still need caffeine. Right? I realize sweet things. And sometimes forget to eat, so I'll need something rich to soften up the drink. So it's definitely something with milk. What special thing would you satisfy all that? Uh, STMJ. It has an egg too in it. It's protein. <laughs> Green tea, honey and milk. Uh, five stars. Fascinating, don't you think so? Do I have any item? No. Here you go, sir. Whoa. That looks nice, kid. What do you call this? Tea is made for your approval. Five stars. How's that sound? With the quotation marks and everything. Perfection. Truly a service worthy of Lucas five star. Cheers. Whoa, that's hot. Jeez. You here have to drink it all at once. I think it's time for us to go. I mean, for me. Roger that. Let's get going then. See you later, pops. Good luck with everything. See you too. You too. You too. You too. <laughs> you too too. <laughs> Bye, Andrea. See you again soon. Goodbye, my fellow new characters. I kind of realize this is now that isn't this the last episode? I mean, I'm really missing someone. <laughs> I'm really missing some crazy lady with green hair. Huh? Am I the only one? Huh? I look, I see. So, judge you and me now. Nothing wrong with that. I have to go soon, though. Duty calls. Sure. Talk about the devil! <laughs> Hello, Andrea. How are you? Freya! Hey, Miss Greenhair. <laughs> hey, officer. Long time no see. You're still alive. <laughs> You've been going around the world, huh? Around the world is a bit much. But I've been somewhere. I'm glad to see you here, Freya. <laughs> well, as much as I'd like to stay and chat, duty calls. Oh, that sucks. I missed you. Well, see you later then, Yogi. Yeah, don't forget to tell Andrea the truth, okay? What? What? Don't forget to tell Andrea the truth. What is the truth? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I've been bamboozled and lied to! Later, Andrea. I will. What is the truth? What is the truth? Let me move over there. So, my buddy, my pal, my good friend. Andrea, what's up? Why didn't you tell me you were going? And before you stop blaming me, it was a last minute thingy. Even I didn't know I'd be back so soon. So what makes you return sooner than expected? Well, maybe I'll tell you after a drink. Hey, do you remember my very first order ever? Um, triple Express. <laughs> I mean, it was quite straightforward. Espresso? Yeah, you have a good memory. The first time I was here, it was raining as hard as it is now. I thought nothing was open anymore until I saw your shop. Your espresso was one of the best coffee I ever had. Thank you. An espresso for me, please? Oh, uh, sure. So what's about the truth? <laughs> what's about the truth, Freya? God damn it. <laughs> damn it, the truth! Here you go, Freya. A couple triple shot espresso for you. Great. Again, this deep aroma is such stellar flavors. Thanks. So, mind telling me why Officer Yogi says what he said? Which part? Something about telling me the truth? Ah, well, about that. Okay. <laughs> I'm leaving for a brighter residency soon. Ah, and he's really, really far away. What? Oh, you're leaving? Oh, no. I know, I know. It was impulsive, it was something I did not on a whim. I know. Me and my only buddy sent the application form like last month. No, real. Not really expecting anything. But we got accepted and somehow it's for this year rotation. Which means I need to pack and get ready really soon. It's not a scam, is it? Of course not. How long is it going to be? I don't know, probably a few months. I might be trying to keep traveling after that. Okay. So why did you disappear, Andrea? Are you sad? 
Oh, you sad? We didn't cuddle you for the, you the whole fucking moment. <laughs> no? Don't be sad while I'm gone, okay? I'm sad. <laughs> I said I'm not sad. <laughs> for people that play this game without playing the first one, be like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> Well, uh, anyway, tell me what's been happening all this time by being gone. There should be a lot of juicy stories waiting for me, right? Oh, you have no idea. Spill it, everything. Alright, so I saw you around two weeks ago. And... Uh, the credits. Ah, there we go. Lady Sh Aqua's working on her game while Mirtle has from time to time. I'm just gonna read together. They're a good team. Lovely. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is the ending, I believe. Silva and Amanda's trip took uh, them quite a bit further than they expected. And Pearl appears in a number of their selfies from London, Sydney and the Mongolian Steep. <laughs> Fascinating. High reputation as a dreamy sensitive wedding photographer spread around all of Seattle. And Gala is fond of qualifying him in those exact terms to hide off his displeasure. <laughs> Luan Bailey's bought a little house with a large windows and small garden, extra bedrooms. Bailey's has been using it as a workspace, but it's then it's really ready to fulfill the, a whole other function. Sorry. The Neko Child X Army collaboration was a success. The new single was released on time. Even though the reviews are mixed, her true fans love it, and that's all that matters, she said. In spite of his impromptu nature, their first big loss cast was a success, especially with Rachel's appearance boosting the views. Lucas seen joined the production a few episodes later, and they are thinking about eventually converting them. I'm trying to read as quick as I can. <laughs> Word of mouth spread to the story of the accident, resulting in a combination of history and urban legend. Wow. A petition that was created to memorialize the site, which was successfully included in the area renewal process. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to read it as quick as I can. In memory of Muhammad Bayin Hasni, we love you. So, the, one of the, I believe, uh, uh, Ocho of the game uh, recently passed away. Uh, I believe in 2022, right? Am I wrong? I apologize if I'm incorrect. Uh, so, big sad. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Daniel Coffee Talk 2. What do you think? By the way, uh, there's actually still more about the game, uh, which uh, I didn't show. There is, as you can see, it is a perfect run. And there is also uh, other uh, side stories that you, we can explore, but you actually have to prepare a different type of coffee. Which I didn't expect, uh, to be honest, uh, um, these uh, divagation stories. Uh, I actually suspected it was going to be some sort of a very linear one, but uh, it appears that there is actually a lot of divagation. Uh, anyway, you can go ahead and explore it by yourself if you want to. Anyway, and uh, as usual, I hope you enjoy this episode, and uh, and I hope you enjoy this series uh, whatsoever. Um, uh, with my modest amount of coffee uh, in my head, and uh, your modest amount of coffee, hopefully. And uh, what do you think? Are you are you sad that the Freya was not there to uh, ears drop on the stories and juices? Or are you happy that our favorite couple got finally married? Or are you still shipping the new one? I actually expected uh, much, much more many characters uh, uh, to be introduced. I understand that, uh, you know, uh, the return of the old ones. I didn't expect, um, um, we could say, we focusing uh, a lot on the old characters. I actually thought there was more, more, more new characters. Well, at least, you know, five or six it was only Lucas and Riona. It appeared that our business is very short handed, I mean. Hmm. Hello? Kitty? Kitty cat cat? <laughs> Ghost! <laughs> I believe it's the cat. Kitty cat cat, kitty cat cat, kitty cat cat. 
Giddy, 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 gag, gag. I hope you enjoy this small offering of ours. Don't worry, it's on the house. It'll be open all night, so feel free to stay a while. As long as you like. Until you feel you're ready to leave. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Anyway, uh, with that uh, weird ass note, uh, we're gonna end this uh, uh, playthrough, I may say. And from what I understand, there is actually um, a secret ending, which I'm not gonna show you. Uh, basically, if I play through all games, like, sorry, if I go through all the quests, you may going to uh, get it. I don't know really. It's very confusing. From some people say you have to run through the good, bad, and perfect, and you may receive the, the ending. Is they actually introduce a new character? Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating. It is what it is, I guess. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this one. And with that. Of course, we did we know, so I'm going to say goodbye. As usual, thank you for watching, have a lovely day, a lovely evening, and good lovely bye.